right, so first I start off with a little skewer that's used for like um, candied apples. And right now I'm just kind of lightly tracing it out just to make sure it looks the way I want it. And after that, I, you know, I just go all in. Because I always have another bar of soap to use if I don't like the way it looks. So you just carve out the letters in your soap. Um, not too deep, but deep enough when you pour the um, liquid in that it'll get into the grooves of what you're carving out. And then I just did the rest of the letters there. And that's what it looks like once I'm done. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna clean up a couple spots, make sure it's deep enough. And after I do that, I have to, um, well, I'm just adding a little heart there, just something for looks. Then you need to wash the soap to clean out any excess pieces and it'll look like this and then you'll dry it once I finish drying the soap I'm just gonna cut come in and cut off the extra sides because we don't need all that and we don't want to waste our materials so I'm just gonna cut these pieces off so we'll only be pouring on the areas that we need. It's time to seal up all the edges so that once we pour the resin in nothing drips out um, the video that I originally saw they use duct tape I don't have duct tape so I'm just gonna use some painters tape and see if that works just as well still a few more spaces in there so I went and got a um, large index card and split that horizontally and then I'm just wrapping it around the soap and securing it with uh, packing tape just to make sure none of the resin comes out once I pour it and then we're going to secure the bottom with a little more tape just for security purposes. I've never done this before, so I'm just taking extra precautions anywhere that I can. All right, once we have it all sealed up and no little spaces in there, it's time to mix the resin. This recipe calls for one part of each. So I'm only gonna do about an ounce of the mixture. So I'm gonna do half an ounce of that one and then half an ounce of the other one. Once you get it all poured, 
we're just gonna mix it up and blend it really well it only takes about 30 seconds this was pretty easy to mix up and then we're going to pour the mistake I think I made was I poured too high because there were some air bubbles in there it was really bothering me and I don't know if those air bubbles affected it at the end or what but this is the way it will look once it starts to set up you're gonna let it sit for I believe about 10 15 minutes all right it's time to take this baby out of the mold I can't even Once I got it out of the mold, I realized that I could not pull this soap loose. So I had to use my X-Acto knife. Still tried to pull, could not get it loose. I didn't have the spray that the recipe called for. It actually wasn't in the store. So next time I'll be careful and make sure I spray first so it'll just pop right out. Till then, I just had to cut and cut and cut and just try my best until I could get it out of there. After cutting all I could, I soaked the rest in hot water. This is what we got. And we're gonna try our stamp out. Now there are a few pieces that I don't know if you can see this. That O right there has a chip in it. I don't know if that happened while I was taking it out. The E is kind of broken. I got all this fuzz on it. And the tip of that B too, but we're still going to try it out. Typically I would do this in one of the soaps as soon as I cut it, but Okay, so it didn't quite get in there all the way. You just put bell bath. <laughs> so let's try it again. We're just trying to get used to what we need to do. <sighs> A little bit better. Bellow, bath, and body. Not bad at all. Looks like, yeah, my Y broke off, which caused it to be kind of, but I think this still looks good. What you think? Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell to be alerted for my next video.